Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to do a range check in Python. So let's get right into it. But firstly, I just want to clarify, in this tutorial we are going to go over how to do a range check on a user input, not how to obtain the user input. I just want to make that quick disclaimer. So, a range check is checking if a value is in between two values. If it's between those two values, then the value is valid. If it's invalid, that means the value is outside of the range that we have specified. An example could be, can the user input a year in between the year 2000 and 2010? And if the input 2002, it's going to be valid, because it's in between those two years we specified. But let's say the user types in 1994. That's invalid because it's outside of the range we specified. So let's get right into it. Also, this is very similar to a length check. There's an eye up in the corner if you want to see how to do a length check. Firstly, we've got a variable that will represent our user input. And we've just assigned hello moto to it. Then we've got print is valid range, user input 1 and 5. We're going to be calling our is valid range function. We're going to pass in three values and print out the true or the false. So let's go in and define that function. So above here we want to do def is valid range input min size and max size. So we are defining our function. It is called is valid range. After, then we've got three parameters. Our first parameter is going to be the user input we wish to do a range check on. In this case, hello moto. Min size, what's the minimum length that a string can be? Max size, what's the maximum length a string can be? And then here we have one return line. So we do return len input is less than max size. And len input is greater than min size. So len just gets the length of whatever you put in. So if I put in the name max, len would return a 3. So here we're essentially checking would is 3 less than the max size. And then let's say, then we do an and statement. Then we do len input greater than the minimum size. Again, we're getting the length of the input and checking if it's greater than the minimum size. If something is less than the maximum size but greater than the minimum size, then it's in a range of values that are valid. And that's basically it for what we do here. So we're going to actually hit Control S and we're going to hit play. And hello moto is false because it's not in between one and five characters long. But let's say we just do hell, some place we don't want to go. It's valid because it's between one and five characters. But let's say we want to say hello instead. But you'll be thinking, but Max, that's not between one and five characters long. And you are correct. So let's hit play. It says false because five is not less than five. But we can make a slight adjustment. So on the return statement again, we can actually do len input is less than or equal to the max size and len input is greater than or equal to the minimum size. Now, instead of excluding the values representing the minimum size and maximum size, we can actually include those. So now, in the case of our of, of this program where we specify 1 as the minimum value and 5 as the maximum value, but now we can actually have an input that's equal to 1 or equal to 5. It doesn't have to be in between them, it can be in between or include those lengths now. So let's save our work and hit play. It's true, because 5 is equal to 5. 5 is greater than or equal to 5. Now we're just going to type in the letter H just to show it just does work. And it's true. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you want more Python tutorials to help you get an A in your coursework or exam, be sure to subscribe. And here's a playlist up in the corner of more tutorials you might be interested in. Thanks for being a great audience and I will see you next time.